from the New York City Marathon. I've been getting ready for it since end of August, pretty much. We still had a few finishing touches to put on the build up. You know, there's not too many hard workouts left. I probably have three hard workouts left. Here I work out on like a dirt, there are a lot of good dirt canals to choose from, but I need a faster surface that's more marathon specific. And the best place that we found is actually the uh, Cubs practice facility parking lot, so it's a bit random, um, but it's got like a big long car free road loop in there. I've done mile and a half repeats in there a couple winters ago, so that's where we're headed. The workout is seven by mile. At five minute pace, give or take a few seconds. We'll see how tired I am. I'm gonna do the first half of every mile and uh, try to get her on pace and try not to screw up. <laughs>
56, I think, and the last one was 4.59. Um, I was pretty tired this week, so I expected it to not feel good. I just, I'm fine with the times. I don't really care much about times. It's more effort. Going into New York, I'm gonna just worry about recovery and getting my body feeling good that day. You know, the fitness has, we've tried to take care of that the last two months. We need to get freshness uh, the next probably two weeks, two and a half weeks. I ran the last 10 miles of the New York City course. I'll be thinking about that the most. It's one of the hardest courses, one of the hardest marathon major courses from what I hear from really respected level of athletes have told me that. <laughs> so key word for the marathon I think will just be toughness. Patience and toughness, those two words. <laughs>